Hey, Be Strong community. I am going to do a yoga flow today. This is my home setup that I kind of created right now in this um, COVID-19 situation. So hopefully it works out. Bear with me if I kind of go off screen or we lose connection on the mic or anything like that. So hopefully it all works smoothly. Let's start on the mat at the back side of your mat. Spread your fingertips wide and spread your toes wide as well. Just kind of getting energy through the body. Feet about hip width distance apart. Let's bend your knees. And then pull the belly in, keeping those knees softly bent. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Now sit your hips even further down, coming into your first chair position. Leaning your chest forward, creating this really nice length from your hips to the crown of your head. Keep reaching your hands away from your hips, creating a little bit more length. Let those hips really drop down towards the ground. You can start adding a little pulse here if you'd like to. Make sure that you're not clenching in the toes. So if you need to, maybe even for a little challenge, lift the toes up. Push your heels into the ground. Let's go for three, two, now holding your hips still, I'm going to do a little heel or a little footwork here. So we're going to lift up one heel and then lower it down. Lift up the other heel and then lower that down. Now just notice how your feet are articulating or creating this nice flow, this movement. And think of rolling through your foot. Let the shoulders keep relaxing away from the ears. Keep that belly pulled in. Make sure that your ribs are not splaying outward. I don't want to see this archingness. I want to see this really nice tight connection of the core. Now, if you want a little bit more challenge, let's lift both of the heels up and then lower both of the heels down. Try to keep your hips really stabilized. And if you want that reference, you can bring your hands onto your hips. Let's go two more and lower. Keep breathing. Now see if you can hold your heels lifted, Woo! and maybe add a little bit more pulse. Three, two, hold it, breathe in, lengthen your hips away from your hands, and then lower the heels, lower the hands down. Take a really nice stretch, bend one knee, and then the other, shake the hips side to side, let the head maybe sway, let the shoulders relax. Take one more deep breath in. And start to walk your hands towards the top of your mat. Spread the fingertips wide. Push into your knuckles, into your fingertips. And then let's start to rock the body forward and back. Keep the hips in line with the shoulders and the head in line with the spine as well. Head is all, or neck is always an extension to your spine. Keeping the belly pulled in, keep up with your breath. Two more. And then last one, stand or lift all the way onto the tippy toes. Now option to lower the knees or challenge here, keep the knees lifted, squeeze those elbows in by the sides, and we lower whew, all the way down to the mat. Take your time to shift the hips a little side to side. Let the tops of the feet come down onto the mat. All right, baby cobra. Squeeze the elbows in by the sides of the body, lifting your head, neck, and chest. We're not pushing into our hands, so make sure those hands are really light on the mat. If you want, you can even float those hands up, making sure that this is all a back motion. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale. Release it down. Push into your hands, curl the toes, lift up to half plank, or lift all the way up to your full plank. So I'm going through the motions of your chaturanga, and uh, you always have that option to lower the knees down, then use the knees to lift and lower yourself up and down. All right, I'm going to tuck this wire back underneath me so I don't have that. Okay, so. Let's see, let's go into our first down dog. Sorry, this wire is really long. There we go. Hopefully that stays put. All right, so push your heels, sorry, push your hips up towards the sky. 
Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Start to pedal your feet out, bending one knee and then the other, stretching through the backs of the legs. Keep the belly pulled in. Keep your hands pushing into the mat. Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Finding that length from your hips to the crown of your head. Bend your knees softly. Look towards your hands. Step your feet towards your hands here. Coming into your forward fold, grab your elbows. Sway side to side. Take a deep breath in. Come into a halfway lift, lengthening through your head, pushing your head forward and your hips back, and then pushing your hands into your shins. Now you can have a soft bend in your knees, and really I always want you to have a soft bend in your knees. You never want to lock out. Pushing your shins into your hands and your hands into your shins. Use your back muscles to really lengthen your spine. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, release down. Now circle sweep your hands around as we lift up, lifting your head towards the sky, your hands towards the sky, and exhale, hands to heart center. Bend the knees, inhale, reach the hands up, and then exhale, fold forward, pulling the belly in and hinging at those hips. Hands placed down. We're going to bring our feet together and then slide your right foot all the way back for that runner's lunge, that runner's start. So you can come onto your fingertips or if you like your palms still down onto the ground. If you have props at home, you could use a block or a book or something to elevate your hands here. That's always an option. All right, so just finding some movement here to let those hips really open. You can find a shifting forward and back. You can find a dropping of those hips, kind of like a little pulse. And then also stretching to the sides of the body by looking over the shoulders. All right, when you're ready, lower your back knee down. And then the option here to uncurl those toes. If you, have, uh, if you need more stability for balance, you can curl the toes back in underneath you. And feel free to either find another pad or roll your mat over to protect that back knee. Now lifting up, finding that crescent low lunge, shining your heart space up towards the sky, letting that right hip really open here. Letting that quad stretch. Take one more deep breath in. Now bring yourself uh, backward just a little bit. I want your thigh to stay nice and strong, and then your left knee to be right over that ankle. Place your hands on your hips. Notice where your hips are at. Are they level and even with each other, or is one hip really hiked up? Can you pull it down? And then maybe even pull that left hip crease back just a little bit so that the right isn't too far back. So you want both of your hips pointing towards the front of the mat. Now lift your arms up to the sky. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, reach over to the left side, getting this really nice stretch. Now try to hold it, and I'm going to turn and show you guys just a different position so you really can see what's going on here. So we're lengthening, we're lifting, we're trying to not just shift our hips over. So try to keep your hips really square and find this length from your right hand all the way down that right side to your hip. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, come back to center. Float your hands down, frame your front foot and then lift that back knee up. Coming all the way into that lunge high crescent lunge this time. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, bring the hands down. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Come into your plank position. Shift all the way onto the tippy toes, lowering down. You can lower the knees down if you need to. Now lower all the way down, find that baby cobra. Inhale, lifting head, neck, and chest. Uncurling those toes, pushing the tops of the toes into the feet, into the mat. And then exhale, release. Inhale, lift your plank. And exhale, find that down dog. 
Take your time to pedal your feet out, stretching through those legs. And then when you're ready, find that, um, that stability, that stableness. Bending the knees, shoulders relax. Take one more breath in. Look towards your hands. You can step your feet. We'll get into jumping on that next round. Inhale, lift to halfway. Exhale, release down forward fold. Inhale, sw circle sweep the arms around. Now option here to do a little back bend. Whenever you go into back bend, squeeze your glutes to protect that lower back. Keep that core strong. One more breath. And then exhale, forward fold. Bring your feet together. This time let's step that left foot back, finding that runner's lunge here. Again, option to finger, bring your uh, fingertips up or palms down, whatever feels good. Start to move, bouncing those hips, rocking forward and back, or stretching the sides, looking over the shoulders. One more breath in. Lower that back knee. And again, option to keep the toes curled or untuck. Inhale, lift those arms up. Finding that crescent lunge here. Shoulders relax away from the ears. Keeping that core strong. I'm not just dropping into this. I want to find my foundation, find that structure where I can protect that lower back. Glutes are slightly engaged. One more breath in. And then lift up. Knee steps right over your ankle. Hands on hips to make sure that your hips are even and square with each other. Maybe you need to pull that right hip crease back. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Grab your left wrist with the right hand. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean over to the right side, but don't let those hips shift. Keep those hips nice and stabilized. Shoulders relax. One more breath. Keep reaching through that right hand or left hand. And then exhale. Come back to center. Rain the hands down. Frame your front foot. Curl the back toes. Lift that back knee. And then we lift to that full high crescent lunge. Inhale, lengthen. Keep that core strong. And exhale. Come down. Frame that front foot. Step your right to meet the back. All right, now shift all the way onto the tippy toes. Squeeze those elbows in. Shifting forward, lifting to my um, up dog. Now here, I wanna keep my core strong. My glutes are slightly engaged, just like a back bend, right? Protect your lower back. Opening your heart, opening your shoulders to the sky. One more breath. Now use your core as you push into your toes lifting your hips all the way to that down dog. Now, if you felt pain in your lower back, I want you to keep doing that baby cobra, which is what we started with, instead of shifting to that up dog. So just remember our progressions and our modifications. All right, bring your feet together, bend your knees. Now I am going to jump. Feel free to step if you want to. Jumping through. And then find that halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Push those hips back. And exhale, release. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms around. Maybe find that back bend here. Squeeze those glutes. Keep that core strong. And then bring your hands down. Finding that forward fold once more. Hands down. Step your right foot back this time. We are going to lift up. Find that high lunge. Now I wanna step my foot down so that my back foot is parallel to the back side of the mat. I'm coming into a warrior two. Now opening your hands, reaching your fingertips away from each other, letting your inner thighs open. Here, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can all see me. All right, finding that warrior two here. Strong legs, lengthening through your hands, looking over your front fingertips, Keep pushing through all corners of your body, reaching through the crown of the head and pushing your hips. Not really pushing, but you know, letting your hips kind of feel like they're dropping down. So just lengthening there, lengthening here, lengthening here. Letting every, every part of your body really open. 
Really push through that back side of your foot. Don't let your toes, your uh, pinky side come off of the mat. So really push there. Take one more breath in. Now flip that front palm. Shift forward and then we paint the sky. Reversing your warrior two. Now options for that right hand can come down onto your thigh, can come onto your hip, or we can uh, grab around our hips for that bind there. Now hold it, take your time to breathe. I'm gonna transition once more back to where we were. All right, just to show you that back hand. All right, wherever you're at, take one more deep breath in, and then shift this, leg, this front left leg for uh, long, and then bring your left hand down reach that right hand up and find length from the crown of the head to that right heel one more breath maybe let that left hand sink a little bit further and then feel like somebody's pulling your right hand up to the sky shift back to your warrior two two more deep breaths here pull those pinkies back really open up through the collarbones and then cartwheel your hands down to frame that left foot Step your left foot back to meet the right. Shift your toes, shift onto your toes. Squeeze those elbows in. Let your body hover over the mat as you shift forward to that upward dog. And then exhale, find that down dog. Hold it here, shoulders relax away from the ears. And then again, we're gonna bend the knees, look towards your hands, and jump if you want to. Find your halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms around, lifting up. And then maybe find that back bend. Exhale, forward fold once more. And this time, step that left foot back. Inhale, rise up. And then we step that left heel back, bringing your left foot parallel to the back side of your mat. Lift or lengthen your arms out long. Right knee should be stacked right above that ankle. Reach through your fingertips. Reach through your feet. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Stand up tall and strong just like a warrior, right? Keep breathing. Shoulders relax. I like to think of somebody pulling each of my hands in opposition to each other. Really feeling that um, those inner thighs open. All right, let's go into... Flipping that front palm, shifting forward, and then paint the sky. Options with that bottom hand. I'm gonna go right around for that bind. Shoulders relax away from the ears. We keep looking up towards that right hand. Keep those inner thighs strong, keep those glutes strong. One more breath. And then release, coming forward, lengthening through that front leg. Bringing your right hand down, lift up that left hand. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Letting that right hand drop down a little bit further, but keep it pushing into your calf. Breathe in. Relax in these difficult positions. One more breath. Feel like somebody's pulling that left hand up to the sky, shifting forward with that front knee. And then come back to that warrior two. Let's take two more deep breaths here. When you're ready, cartwheel that back hand forward, pivot on that back foot, coming into that runner's lunge. Step your right foot back, shift onto your tippy toes, squeeze those elbows in, shift the body forward, lift to your up dog. Exhale. Find that down dog and take your time here. Let the shoulders relax. Let the feet pedal out. Keep that belly pulled in. Take one more breath in. Now come onto the tippy toes, lower the knees down and send those hips back to your heels for your first child's pose. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe you guys have already taken some child poses, which is fine. Listen to your body. You can keep reaching your hands forward 
or if you want to bring your hands around. My knees are together, but remember, if that doesn't feel comfortable, you can bring your knees apart. So whatever feels comfortable for you. Let's take three deep breaths. You can let the forehead rock side to side. Let the shoulders feel heavy down towards the ground. Let the belly release onto the inner thighs. And when you're ready, slowly rise up, pulling the belly in. Awesome, let's come forward. We're gonna do some cat cows. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Start to wiggle the hips side to side just to kind of reset the body. And then we're going to drop the belly, pull the heart space forward, let the shoulders kind of roll back and glide down towards the hips. And then we feel like we're pushing our nose forward as we lift our head to the sky. Take a deep breath in here. And then exhale, pull the belly in, start to round your spine from the bottom to the top, letting the head drop last. Exhale here. And then we inhale, starting with the head, pushing it forward, rolling those shoulders back, opening up through the collarbones and the chest. And then exhale. Keep the tops of your feet pressing down into the mat as you keep moving through this. And then remember, if you've taken my class before, whenever we do cat cows, I always talk about just finding motion that feels good for your body here. So cat cows are really a check-in with your spine. How am I articulating? Is there any tension through my spine that I can breathe into? Work out, release. Let's go one more here. Awesome. All right, curl the toes in underneath you. We're going to lift the knees up. Now, pulling that belly in, keeping that core really nice and tight, kick your right foot back. Squeezing into that right glute, push your heel back like you're pushing it into a wall. And then release your foot down, knee back underneath your hip. And then exhale, left foot lengthens. We kick that heel like we're pushing it into a wall. And then inhale, release. Exhale, right foot, inhale, release. Exhale, left foot, inhale, release. Let's go one more time on each side. And then last time here. And then slowly lower those knees down. Push your hips back, reach your hands forward, breathe in. And then shift. All right, guys. So since I've worked, I walked you through um, a lot of the positions of uh, the warriors, the the transitions of chaturangas. We're gonna do just a quick little flow of kind of meshing all of them together. So here we go. Bring your hands down. Press into your fingertips. Lift your hips high. Pull that belly in. Shoulders relax. Now look towards your hands. We're gonna bend the knees, we're gonna jump forward, inhale, halfway, halfway rise, exhale, forward fold, inhale, circle, sweep those arms around, and then exhale, dive yourself back forward. Bring your right foot back, inhale, rise, uh, high crescent lunge, inhale, really lengthen. Now exhale, cactus arms, elbows come wide. Breathe in, and then exhale. Bring your hands to your heart center. Pivot that back foot down, lengthen through your arms, warrior two. Really reach through the knees, through that back foot. Now shift forward, flipping your palm, painting the sky. Bring that right hand around for your bind. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale. Shift that, long, that front leg long. Bring that left hand down, reach that right hand up, really reach through the crown of the head, pull your head backward. Make sure your head is in line with your spine. One more breath. And then feel like somebody's pulling your hand up to the sky, come back to that warrior two. Breathe in, shoulders relax. One more breath here. 
Cartwheel that back hand forward. Pivot on that back foot. Step your left foot to meet the back. Shift all the way forward onto your tippy toes. Elbows squeeze into the body. We shift the body forward, lifting up to our up dog. Exhale, pull the belly in, find your down dog. Shoulders relax away from the ears. And then when you're ready, bend your knees, look forward, jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, circle sweep those arms up. Maybe find that back bend and exhale, release, forward fold. Step your left foot back. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Find your balance. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Now cactus the arms, bend the elbows, really open up through the chest. Breathe in here. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Pivot on that back foot, open to your warrior two. Keep looking over your front fingertips, lengthening through the crown of the head. Pull your pinkies back. Flip your front palm. Shift forward. Reverse your warrior. Left hand can come around for a bind. Really reach through those right fingertips. Breathe in. Shift forward. Lengthen through that front leg. Lower your right hand down, lift that left hand up to the sky. Reach the crown of the head away from your hips, finding that length. One more breath. Feel like somebody's pulling that hand up to the sky. Come down to your warrior two. Take two deep breaths here. Stay strong through those legs. Using the muscles and never the joints. It's a good thing to kind of check in with yourself. Am I using my joints? Am I walking that back knee out? Or am I feeling those muscles work? All right, now cartwheel that back hand forward. Pivot on that back foot. Coming into your runner start. Right foot meets the back. We shift forward onto our tippy toes. Elbows squeeze in. We shift forward to that up dog. Inhale. And exhale. Down dog. Take your time here. Pedal your feet out. And then bend your knees. Look towards your hands. Jump, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release it down. Now start to walk your feet out to the outsides of your mat. I'm going to keep my heels on my mat and I'm going to bring my toes off of it. Feel free if you have wider, or sorry, longer legs, you're going to want to find a wider stance or if you have shorter, bring it in short, closer. All right, start to drop your hips. Finding a nice yogi squat, and if you know me, you know I like to move, right? So feel free to move here. If you wanna just hold it, you can just hold it. But I know my hips are always really tight, especially in the morning, so I always like to give them an extra little movement here. Once you feel pretty good about that, you can find your, find your balance, find your stability. Let those hips drop down. Bring those elbows in towards the inner thighs. Push your heels, or sorry, yeah, push your heels into the ground and your heel of your hands in towards each other. Push your elbows into your thighs and your thighs into your elbows. Keep that belly pulled in. Try to lengthen your spine a little bit more. Let those hips drop down a little bit more. One more breath. Now optional here to play around in your crow pose. I haven't done this in a while, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, hands down, knees onto those back um, triceps. Find a focus point, lifting one foot first, and then letting that other one find and hover. Whew, pull that belly in, use that for support, and then release. Let those hips drop all the way down and take a seated position. We're gonna do a little hip opener here. Lean back, bring your hands back behind you. We're gonna drop the knees over to one side and then lift and then drop them over to the other side. Let those shoulders keep pulling back. Windshield wiper in your legs side to side. Finding your breath, just relaxing. Now we're gonna drop the knees over to one side. We're gonna bring our hands up. We're going to push into those knees, lifting up. Now let those hips really open here, finding a nice stretch on this right thigh. 
and then slowly with control, whew, release down. Let's shift to the other side. And then we push into those knees. We lift up using the glutes, finding that balance, finding that stretch, kind of pushing those hips forward. And then slowly with control, release it down. I wanted to show you that because that's a really great one to do if your hips are really tight. If you find yourself sitting in a chair for a long period of time, getting down on the ground and just doing some windshield wipers and then finding that hip extension as well. All right, so we're gonna play around in a boat pose now. So when you're ready, bring your feet forward, finding your belly pulled in and tight. Bring your hands behind your thighs and lengthen through the crown of your head. Lean your body backward slowly letting those feet float up to your boat. Now, option, bring your hands out. Letting your core finish up this work. If you need your hands behind your thighs, of course, you're more than welcome to use that. Keep that belly strong. Keep breathing. Find your focus point. Notice where your mind is at and try to bring it back here. Focus, relax the shoulders. Take one more breath in. Now extend your right foot long. Let it tap the ground. Exhale, pull that leg back to tabletop or a boat. And then we lengthen the left leg long. Tap the ground. Exhale, pull it back in. Now you can keep going here, trying to stabilize with one leg. And of course, you could do this with hands on your thighs. If you wanted an extra challenge here though, we're gonna do both legs at the same time. And this time I need to lean my body backward. And then exhale, pull it back to boat. And then again, inhale, lean it back, try to balance. Exhale, pull it back to boat. Let's go one more time. Inhale, lean it back. And exhale, using that core. When you're ready, lower the feet down, open your knees to the sides, pull your heels in towards your glutes. You can hold onto your ankles or if you wanna wrap your hands around your toes, whatever feels good, come into this butterfly. If you are finding your hips super tight and cranky, almost like they're, they're gripping on your hip flexors, flap your wings and you can go really big with your flaps too. That will help to get those hip flexors to release. <sighs> Should feel pretty good. If you're like, oh my gosh, it still isn't working for me, you can keep your feet long and that will give you a little bit more space to relax into. Otherwise, if this feels good, hug them in really close to your hips and then find that groundingness of your thighs, almost like you have sandbags on your thighs. I don't want you to push on your knees. If you wanna push on your thighs, that's okay, but remember we never push on our uh, joints. All right, now finding length through your spine, I want you to think of your elbows being really heavy and weighted down to the ground as well. Hips are heavy, thighs are heavy, and I'm going to hinge over my uh, feet with a long spine. Keep up with your breath. Now when you're ready, you can round forward and release your head. If you wanna just hold it, or if you wanna find a little sway, or maybe even a, sh a shake of your neck, because your neck is a little tight, go ahead and do so. Wherever you're at, take one more breath in. And then pulling from the belly, always using your core to move as we lift up. Lengthen your legs long. Bring the legs together. Bring your hands behind you. I'm gonna get this out, because we're gonna go to lying down. All right, shifting down onto the ground. You can use your hands, or if you've been with me, you can do that roll down. All right, okay, cool. All right, so bring your hands down by the sides of your body, just ending with a little back extension. You may be able to feel your heels with your fingertips, but you don't have to, but I don't want your feet super far from your, your knees. So bring your heels relatively either underneath your knees or a little bit closer in if you can get there. We're gonna push through the heels and just go to your standard bridge position. 
Make sure that your collarbones are opening. You have some space between your chin and your chest, and you're not just squeezing here, right? Keep your core tight. Make sure, and see if you can look at your ribs. Can you see your ribs splaying out here? I want to squeeze my ribs together, almost like I have a belt or a corset wrapping around my waistline. Now my heels are really squeezing or pushing into the ground. My glutes are tight. My outer thighs and my inner thighs are both working here. So I wanna find my legs super active. Now my hands are supporting me. If I'm feeling like my shoulders are rounding forward, I'm gonna snuggle the shoulder blades underneath. Now finding that bridge and holding it here or going a step further. I can snuggle my shoulder blades a little bit more underneath me, interlace my hands underneath my hips, push my pinkies down. And again, I'm not splaying my ribs. I don't want a big arch here. I actually want to find an arch with my hips. So try to keep those ribs relatively close in towards the body as much as you can and find that lift of your hips up. Now taking it one more step further, lifting your heels. You might want to walk your feet in a little bit more, push into those hands, Lift up, make sure you're not pushing your chin. Make sure you have some openness there still. One more breath here. And then exhale, release your hands, release the hips and relax. Let the knees sway a little side to side. And then when you're ready, pull those knees in towards your chest. You can hold onto the uh, backs of your thighs, those hamstrings or you can even hold on to your shins. Whatever feels good. If you have a good cushion that you're on and it doesn't feel painful for your lower back, you can rock side to side, or maybe even draw circles with the knees on the ceiling, creating a little booty massage. <sighs> Wherever you're at, take one more deep breath in. And then let's keep that right knee in towards your chest, lengthen your left leg long, finding this really nice stretch in those, between those inner thighs. Keep that left leg hovering off of the ground, feel like somebody's pulling it with, uh, away from your body. Pull that right knee in a little bit deeper, take one more breath. And then exhale, release that foot down to the ground, that left foot. Now with your right knee, you can open it out to the side. Or maybe even let it cross over the body. And if you want to do that a couple more times, you can just let that hip uh, or the femur, that thigh bone kind of move in that hip socket, finding some relief there. And then if you wanted to do that full twist, remember be mindful of your lower back and your spine. You can let that right leg cross all the way over, anchor it down with your left hand, reach that right hand, and maybe look for a little twist here. Look at your right hand. Let's take a deep breath in. Release, come back to center, and let's switch. Left knee pulls in, right leg lengthens. Reach through your right toes, almost like somebody's pulling it away from your body. Keep that left knee pulling in towards your shoulder. One more breath. Release that right foot down, and then left leg can open out to the side, finding that nice openness through your hips, and then we can, of course, cross it over the body. So if you did that rocking sensation on the other side, go ahead, find that rocking sensation here, stretching through those inner and outer thighs. And then if you want to end with that twist, left leg can cross all the way over, you can anchor it right uh, with your right hand and left hand can reach out to a half T. You can look towards your finger, your left fingertips for a deeper stretch. Close the eyes, take one more breath in. And then slowly come back to center. All right, so I'm gonna do a little rocking like a ball or rolling like a ball or rock and roll. Um, you don't have to though, so if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't think I can do this with my spine, feel free to use your hands to guide yourself up. Otherwise, we're going to rock back and forward. It's probably one of my favorite things to do with my back. It gets that energy, that prana to move. 
and uh, creating some really nice uh, release uh, of the back fascia, right? Let's go one more time. And then maybe you can balance in a boat pose. Woo! There we go. <laughs> and release. Wherever you are, let's come to a sitting position. We'll just end our practice with a crisscross or butterfly, whatever feels good. Roll those shoulders back, open up through the collarbones. You can place your hands on your thighs or your knees, or even flip your palms up to the sky. If you'd like, if you feel comfortable, close your eyes and just notice how you feel. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your mind feels. And notice how your soul feels. Let's take one more deep breath in. And then taking one deep breath in together, reach your arms to the sky, looking up, smile, be grateful and happy for your body, for your practice. Thank you guys so much for coming and enjoying my class today. I appreciate you. I appreciate our community. Take care of yourselves. Namaste.